Hello, everyone. And welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome to the Thursday video, and welcome to a bins haul. Oh, it's a bins haul. Uh, I love a I bins like haul, we man. We, yeah, we haven't. I feel like we have not done one of these in a hot minute, and that's because we didn't obviously at all yet this week, and we didn't last week. No, we didn't. And I'm not even really sure what we did the week before, but we haven't done one for at least like a week. And I don't remember and what I had for breakfast this morning, let alone what videos we put up two weeks ago. So this <laughs> yeah. is going to be fun. It's like yes. a whole new experience, even yes. though we do these somewhat frequently. And for the premiere squad, which is just what I call the people who do come to our video premieres, hopefully this video is being premiered if you're watching this right now as a premiere but i just wanted to warn you guys that within the next two weeks obviously with holidays and everything going on there may not be as many premieres of videos they might just be posted at like 8 p.m central time or something yeah. like that also for the what's old saturdays they're gonna be on christmas eve and on new year's eve so we're gonna be posting those actually yes. like around noon or a little after maybe like 2 p.m mm -hmm. central time or something just in case there are people that want to watch them that day they don't have to like watch it during like, a family gathering yeah. or something yeah i just wanted to warn you guys a little Christmas special because our big family for Jack's side is always on Christmas Eve. Everybody comes over. It's this like big, massive family gathering. And like the last and thing. And then they come back I, on New Year's Yeah, Eve. and then everybody like filters back in New Year's Eve. And the last thing I think I'm going to do is be on my computer yeah. at all. And then on Christmas and for the next couple days, we go down to Iowa with Ryan's family. So once again, <laughs> we will be busy and we'll be spending time <laughs> with them. So I'm just saying for the next two weeks, the premieres, if there are any, it'd be like possibly on one video. But yeah. No no promises, but also we're not like done doing premieres. If you notice that in the next two weeks, just busy holidays. it's just until like after the holidays, after things kind of get calmed down. Yes, they will be back. And also, really quick before we jump into it, coming up next week is going to be the like glitz and glam New Year's style festive bolo, which is like all things glitter, sparkly, feathers, just that kind of stuff. Oh. Then the Valentine's will get a bonus one on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we are not sure exactly what we're doing yet, but I think we're going to do like a year <laughs> in review, kind of the best oh, yeah. 15 items mm -hmm. that we sold this year mm -hmm. and just kind of look back on them, tell you where we got them, how much they sold for. Huh? A moment of review. Reflection yes, because on just the seems... many things that we have sourced and found and sold yes. over the past year. Seems fitting for the one right before New Year's Eve. Yeah. Anyways, we do have some fantastic freaking stuff to show you guys today. We're just going to dive into it as uh, usual. Well, if you're new here, uh, we start off with the others, as we call them, which means shoes, bras, hats, accessories, and like bags or wallets. Anything that's not like loads. Eh? Then we jump into the clothes and we just kind of kind of like eat show five and take turns doing that. Yeah. So we're going to start with the others. You get the hang of it. It's and, really easy. <laughs> and I will go first. So some of these things, of course, you have seen in the thrift with us that went up on Tuesday, but not everything, definitely. No. So this is a pair of Clark's boots. I never get Clark's. This is actually my first time getting Clark's. Very cute. But I love this purple color and mm -hmm. I love this studding. And it is real leather. That's actually really nice leather. Ooh. These are a size us nine they're also in great shape so yeah, i just, I just like couldn't skip them also clark's retail like decently expensive so clark's is ridiculous they're so expensive speaking of brands that are like way too expensive oh here so we go. this Take is a pair cake. of silver sandals and these are actually oh by God. mephisto oh. it says it right here it's a different line called mobiles which it's kind of like Birkenstock. They're very much like Birkenstock. My grandma always wears these like teeny little comfort sandals and they look just like this, but they have to be in narrow. Mephisto's are a lot like Birkenstock where they have like different lines that mean different things like mobiles, how like Birkies. Burks, oh, all those yeah, different things. Mm -hmm. So these are Mephisto. Mephistos are extremely expensive. These are a size 37, but they're in great shape. And of course, the retail is so high, I would not skip those. That's Maryland size. Then <laughs> I have another pair of shoes. I am obsessed with these. These are the my favorite shoes I found by far that they're day beautiful. at the bins. These are actually J Crew. Oh yeah. And it's a newer label because it's cursive. And they had no laces when I found them, but I did 
did not care. No. We have tons of extra laces, of course, because we find them at the bins and stuff. Yes, we do. And how perfect is a white lace added to it when all of the stitching is white as well? So I yeah, think these look adorable. fantastic. I honestly don't remember what the original laces were colored, but I don't really care. <laughs> I like these my... These are stunning. I like, like, if you told me this was like a pair of, like a designer designer boot, I'd be like, okay. I like my own creative direction I took with these. And they're size eight. Quite nice. So great size. Yeah, these are in the... Sh again, the condition. These are literally like brand new. Stunning. Like, girl, and they retail for like $200. Why did you buy a pair of boots for the shoelaces and <laughs> get rid of them? My mm. last pair of shoes that I have are you know her, you maybe love her. Yeah. <sighs> A pair of Rothy's. So these are authentic Rothy's. A hint for authenticating Rothy's is they will never say made in the USA. They are always made in China. That's mm -hmm. like right here. This is like kind of textured the label. There's always these like holes in the bottom so that they can be washed and water can go through them. Then you got to look for like good stitching, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. When you wash them, do not put them in the dryer. Yes. I right. did learn that the hard way. Oops. So these are a size seven. They're Debbie's size, but I don't think Debbie is a Rothy's queen. Debbie's not a flat. <laughs> Debbie does not do a flat. She <laughs> has to have, like when she wears espadrilles. She'll do espadrilles. She has to have like a little the platform espadrille. Yeah. Debbie's not a flat wear. Back in the day, would have been like running around screaming. Now I was kind of like, that's pretty exciting. Yay. Like, yay. It's like an old family friend yeah. coming to visit. Then I have a handful of brawlers and I have two hats. Let's do the hats first. So these are both, I believe, men's hats. Maybe I should try them on because I actually need a new. Yeah, I was going to say, I like these. These are cute. These are both by Allbirds, which I didn't even know that they made hats. But there's the logo <laughs> and there's the Boop. inside. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because they're wool. Like, this is the same material they have the shoes. Just like that are made out of. Washable. Yeah. I actually do kind of like these. If they fit me the way that I like hats to fit, which is very, very rare. Jack that's, is that's why I have two the hats. most particular human being when it comes to how hats fit. You could show him every single hat in the world. And I'll probably pick three. And there's one. As I do this, I'll pick three. I love, I've seen the movie <laughs> twice. I love three different hats. Let's do the bras <laughs> and then I'll let Ryan take the mic. I got so, a bag of shoes. Next up is a torrid bra. I and I thought this bra, was man. very, oh. very pretty. It is a red lace floral bra with Look the like pretty. hooks on the back. This is a torrid size 46 double D. That's Perfect. where it says. The only flaw with these is there's like on the inside where it crosses, one side is just kind of a little like rubbed. Almost. Oh, from just like. But like. Being nah, warm. Not that big of a deal. Tord bras do so good. I was like still totally. Are Tord bras them. as expensive as I would imagine so? As like other bras? Yeah. Bras are expensive. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm sorry. Then we have another Tord bra. This one's also really, oh, this really is pretty. Oh, super cute. It's like white with a black lace detail. Oh, this one God. was like still being sold on the website, which surprised me. Mm -hmm. 46D. I do assume it was probably the same owner for the two. Mm -hmm. The only flaw with this one is there's a small split at the back. Like maybe she hooked the netting at oh, one point. But yeah. again, like that doesn't affect wearing it. So mm -hmm. I don't really care that much. It's fine. It's a knock around bra. This is a brand I've never tried, but I just thought this was so pretty. Really? Oh, like, okay. See, this, this if I was on so Depop, cute. this would be um, like a top. Wear this like on like the outside top. of a white t-shirt. Oh, that would be so trendy and it cute. Really it's cute. by a brand called Adore Me. Oh, I heard of them. I had not. It's like a... It's pretty expensive, but again, all bras It's like Fabletics, where you like pay them, I think, mm. if you like pay them money and then it like rolls over every month. Designed in New York, and this is a 38B. So it's a good size. It's very I cute. just love the color, I too. I love this, like, oh. Not emerald, but like... Like a Kelly clothes. Queen. We got a Victoria's Secret pink, or not pink. It is pink, but it's not by pink. It's just Victoria's it's Secret. It's just pink the color, not <laughs> pink the it's brand. It's just like anyway. a plunge satin pink push-up bra. I don't know. I thought it was in really good shape, so I got it. 34B. And then almost exactly the same. It's basically the same thing, but in black. Oh, Again, they're just like really classic, and the satin is so soft. Good everyday bra. 34C on that one. And last up this is, is a free people bra that kind of gives me like witchy core. I don't really get free people bras anymore. I almost always throw them to Ryan. And I because, take them happily. Just because like, I don't know. I don't have like the I did plug. see um, a meme the other day on this um, American Girl doll meme Instagram account that said, does everybody remember back in quarantine when we all wore the same free people bra? <laughs> like, what yes. that? Um, the galoon. Yeah. Back. Yes. 
So this is just like a black with blue lace. I love the colors. And honestly, that's why I'm selling it myself. It's There's so like cute. no other reason. It's of course, intimately free people. This is 34C though. So, oh, it has a double hook. She's a woman with options, which is wonderful. Here we go. That's cute. It has a little like peep in the front. I do like that. That's I think really that's cute. adorable. Let's do others. So sister, if you're watching, don't. Thank you. <laughs> I um, doubt she is. I got this for here. my sister as a Christmas present. Da -da -da -da. It's a cute little Dumbo Squishmallow. She is unfortunately plagued with Here, the, Dumbo, Disney, here's a Dumbo. the Disney adult virus that I have. So she doesn't have a tattoo though. But so she's not doing it. That's good. okay. This is this was given to me by somebody at the bins, which was super nice. Thank you. Uh, M Z Wallace. Super cute, like gray tote bag. I'm going to text a lovely friend of mine. She just had a baby, and I was like, "Girl, do you need a diaper bag?" Because if yes, here we go. Why not a luxury? Um, there's one? a little bit of wear on the top of the handles, but other than that, oh, there's like something in here. Oh, boop, it comes with the pouch. pouch. That's super nice. I thought it was gonna be like a changing mat or something. Um, either way, very nice, like huge. This gives me like lug vibes. Yeah. What's I that was lug? Say. That's the puddle jumper. Yeah. Where it has the little like compartment free shoes and all your like sweaty nasty things. So MC Wallace is like similar to Lug in styles and materials, except they use leather. Much but more it's expensive. much more expensive and it does much better. Lug does do really tough. good, but MZ Wallace does really good. And the real real takes it as well. Yes. But I did get though, I found literally one of the most beautiful home things I've seen in my entire life. It's room and board, which if you don't know, is like the it's also huge. So that's why it's not like physically here, because we would not have enough space to yeah. show you this rug. Um it's a six by nine wool rug. It is called the Grady rug. Rug and it retails for like thirteen hundred dollars. I paid two bucks, three, two dollars, and I'm gonna save that for when we get a house. Whoa, that rug is going somewhere Thank in that you. house. Okay, shoes. I have a few very good pairs of shoes. Um, this pair, I didn't know what it was, and I was like, oh, I these did. are fun. So it's Malone Solier. I'm not even gonna so, try, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're I, this fun like. I don't know how to say it. Woo! They have this like very Y2K colored. I haven't been able to determine if this is faux fur. It's like sheer it's or like fur real fur. Sherpa it's like UGG. Sheerling. It's like the expensive UGGs. Um, but they're really cute. Very expensive like brand. A nice little... Real Real doesn't market that high, so keep it for yourself. Thirty eight. Very fitting for our bolo next week. Even though we the brand's not on there, but this would fit really well. Yes, it absolutely would. Okay. Um, these I was kind of devastated. There was another pair in a smaller size, which is really rare, and I was not able to find the other one. But this is a pair of Reeboks. These are quite popular. I do not know the name of this particular sneaker. I think they're literally just called like the classic, like, but they're R1 like or something like everywhere. That. Every single Urban Outfitters, Nordstrom, like. All these Probably really anthro. revolve, like all these crazy people, places maybe. are having these ones. So all you have to do is like deep hill this. They clean up like a dream. And this is always like, it's supposed to be kind of yellow. It was never originally white. So I was very excited. The classic, I have no idea. Um, These are a size seven and a half, almost every size. But they are Janet's. They are Janet's. They're and like the last thing that woman needs is anything else because I give her way too much crap. They're like the Reebok Air Force One, basically. They kind of are. I won these and uh, no, I didn't win them. I saw somebody throw them back and I was like, oh, hey, I have the other one. Like, can I have it? And she was like, yeah. They're so cute. They're a pair of Uggs. They have this really nice little like. This is like I don't the know what, style of Ugg. I don't know what kind of like detail. Canvas. I don't know how to describe it. All they really need is like a good little brush and they were kind of in the bins. They have a few little like marquees on them, but the bottoms, Literally, like, as next to brand new as you can get. Like, the only marks on them are, like, the couple of little, like, dings and things from the bin, which is... And that is, like I said... Going to be the easiest thing in the world to just, like... The style of 2021-2022 is this pair of Uggs. They are like the classic, a size 8. They're the classic short, I think they're called. Yes. You could sell yes, these for, are. like, 150 almost, probably. I'm very excited about them. Okay, so this is a very exciting find. I have found this brand once before maybe a couple of times and it's very hard to see but it's number six so there's like no and then a six i knew what these were because we had done a bolo with them a while ago and i had talked about them and i had found a pair i am still like i don't know if i'm gonna send these into the real real because they do mark them like pretty high but i think they're really cute though still and i Mm, I might sell it myself. I think they're adorable. They are a size 39, and this is like the really crazy expensive pair of clogs that are from like some random boutique somewhere that she was like, we'll just make them. And then my last little thing is this really cute little bubblegum pink coach wristlet, shoulder bag, turn lock, little situation. Super nice on the inside, super cute. And I think the girlies really do be liking these little like 
And it's like the color of winter 2022. Yes, it is. I think it's adorable. And I think it's cute. And I was very glad that nobody snatched it from me. On to clothing. Yes. And uh, to start it off as a not piece of clothing. I forgot to show this. This is a little coach, like, coin purse. Or you could even put, like, your chicks in it back in the day. Does and it's have actually chicks? made in Italy, which Ooh. is really odd. Then we have this really fun pair of pants that kind of look like they could just be, like, cow bits, But they're not. They're much better. These are so cute. <laughs> these are Pendleton. And I would have never guessed that Poor that's Benjamin. what these were. But they are so adorable. They are a size 4. And they're just, like, straight legs. This is kind of adorable softer pants i did see a few pendleton pieces but they were just like holes galore so i unfortunately had to leave them behind i found this camo tank top that i honestly thought was lululemon because at the bottom it says like limitless all around this is actually by athleta i could only tell by the label there was nothing inside so athleta and i have to measure it and there's also no tag on the inner inside so <laughs> good luck to me awesome then I found this pair of Spanx. These are the high-waisted tights, tight and tights. So they're tight. They're tight. Not tights. loose. They're tight. That's These funny. are a size G. And they're originally 38 bucks. Yeah, what? Spanx has like a weird size chart. So I literally am just going to list them as a G. Because like it's really difficult to understand that size chart. What the heck? This, I guess, could have went with miscellaneous as well. This is an apron. Oh, this is adorable. And instantly I knew what this was. I just like... I'm like, this is probably an anthro one. And sure enough, it has 66170RN on this tag. And it doesn't say where it's from, but like, this is not... I don't think Urban Outfitters... This is not Urban Outfitters. This is definitely anthro. And actually, I think I found matching, like, dish towels from anthro for this. Oh. I haven't found the apron yet, but I found, like, dish towels. This is from Ryan. And these, these are, are the an amazing, thing. amazing pair of joggers these are by the Zaya. My favorite athletic brand. These, I don't remember the name, though I should because I've had these like six times. I was gonna say, you've had them a lot though. They're like the chill jogger or something. It's quite an easy, simple name, but mm -hmm. they do so well. And you can list them for like 65 bucks. You just take an offer of like 50 or 45 and you're good to go. Off they go. Lots of athletic, it looks like. So Kinda. these are a pair of Vori. And there's a little label in here, but it might be easier to just show you this label. So there's the Vori label. Mm -hmm. And these are some men's shorts. And as you can see, there's like a paint spot there. And paint is very, very difficult to get out. Especially yeah. like primer. Paint stuff. And then there's some spots here. But Vori, I know we've talked about in an athletic bolo at some point. Mm -hmm. So expensive. And I bet these will sell either way. They're men's XL. Somebody's going to use them as just like knock around shorts. More athletic. Construction cone color. These are some joggers that I actually think are really cute. Really cute. These are really cute. They look new. Too. And this is a brand I do not sell myself. I don't even know the last time I sold it myself. <laughs> but it's Fabletics and Shocker. The tag is in it still. Size small. But I just love this style. It's not just like obviously a plain legging, which are like a dime a dozen in our oh bins, God, I feel we like. We find them all the time. Even though, no shade. I love Fabletics. If the, I, if they I was, get me every single time. If I, I always think it's going to be a If I was pair. a female that wore leggings and worked out, I would like just buy Fabletics. Oh, same. It's, you can get it so cheap on Posh and like the quality is very nice. One more and I'll hand it off to Ryan again. This was the last find of the day. And oh, this, this is, is so cute. So cute. Oh, it's look a, at this. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur bra. And I like picked it up and I was literally like, I don't care what this is. I need to sell it. But it's actually by Torrid. Oh, cute. So like a brand that like will get some recognition and some attention and traffic. But I think this is so cute. I do need to wash it still. We love a quirky bra. But, like look at the dinosaurs. Oh, so cute. Love. Oh, wait, what size was that? One. One X. I lied. I do have one Carhartt beanie. Thank the you. The end. Thank you. First thing is a thing for me, and I was so excited to find this jacket. I already have it on a hanger because I literally, like, wore it after I got out of the bin because I was cold. I'm obsessed with this. This is an Arc'teryx. And no, it wasn't the Uniqlo one. No. Ryan found two coats that he wanted. Yeah. Because at the end of the thrift with us, you had the Uniqlo I was one. like... Yes, that one is also nice. This one is so much nicer. It's Arc'teryx. It's men's. It's beautiful. It is in all kinds of amazing quality. Oh, I love it so much. It's a men's extra large. Da, 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 and it has the little, like, name in here. I was honestly like, 
shocked when I was able to find this. This is the Adam Long Sleeve Men's Hooded Jacket. 100% down, filled, it's beautiful. And this is like one of those, Archerix is one of those brands where like everybody knows it. The vintage people know it, the moms know it because they know it's, it's like, expensive. It's like Sorel. The postures know it, like the Facebook people, every single human being knows that this is worth money and every single one of them skipped it. Thanks guys. Ryan giving all this Thanks information. Thanks for the jacket. All this information about it, but he's keeping it, so it literally doesn't matter. It's beautiful, though. I'm very excited. Um, This, I know my grandma isn't going to watch this because she can't figure out how to turn the phone on. It's this really cute little Ralph Lauren blue puffer oh, jacket. Yeah. I think it's adorable. She's probably going to hate it because she hates everything that is clothing that is not built pre-1940, <laughs> which is fine. This, I was actually really excited to find. I don't think I've ever found this brand, like, in person before. I know Jack has found it a couple of times. Oh. The brand is Figs, and it was just, like sit and tag up and I just we've been finding a Thank lot you. of figs lately figs technical collection do not know anything about scrubs or like if they have names of things but they're just like a nice little regular pair of blue scrubs super cute my aunt is a nurse and I need to ask her if she wears figs because if I send it in her find it in her size I'd be happy to pass them along Jack gave this to me and I'm literally obsessed with it it is this vintage y2k perfect for depop bb size extra small amazing like kind of a corset kind of a top situation it's quite interesting but that means it will do quite good you better list that high oh i absolutely will i don't think there's like a ton a ton a ton of stuff in here for depop compared to like some of the other hauls that i've had in the past this is also a vintage item going onto depop it is this beautiful little like quilted patchwork little like halter tie back tank top it i was nervous this was going to be like a shein of some variety but this tag that you can see is cut out definitely is not a shein tag no. like that was something so we will find out but either way i think it's adorable these i got to take to the consignment store aqua size 26 just like really cute little star print jean shorts nothing crazy this i also got to take to the consignment store it's marie oliver size small just like a little blouse these must have been in like a fab fit fun box of some variety because i feel like i find them all the time now next up for me is this really really adorable daisy printed kind of like boho-esque blouse this is by zara which of course you've heard a million times but i usually don't sell myself size large but like come on how could i not this, this is, is cute. too cute it's like textured feeling too and i just like the style of it a lot then we have this anthropology sweater and this is a cowl neck sweater and it's actually 100 percent merino wool but you would never no no this is it not is like itchy so at all this is soft nice. i was shocked when i was taking the pictures mm -hmm. of it it's an extra small and i love this color it's very yeah. fall but also could be like winter as it's well. very popular in minnesota still yeah then we have this and this is a free people this is size medium the metal tag and this is just one of those kind of classic like slubby oversized waffle knit Thermal tops. Little thermally moments. Oh, yeah, we so do nice. good. Ryan threw me this, and this is very like golf, tennis, very, like tennis core. Girl. Athleta, size small, Aretha Athleta. Aretha Athleta. And this is just like a really cute polo shirt. Yeah, like it's called polo. the like on par polo because par golf. Ha ha. Ha ha. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> anyway. Then I knew oh this right when I felt it. And I probably should give it to Debbie, but I will if it doesn't sell for me. This is a size large Barefoot Dreams, and it is in the cozy, chic light, which Ooh. I prefer the light. The light is the more, like, micro fleece. Oh, It's got a little bit of squish to it. So, so soft. And this is just the classic open with pockets cardigan by Barefoot Dreams. Mm -hmm. There's not very many styles from Barefoot Dreams, so I'm sure we all know this style. The waterfall and cardigan. And this is Intimately Free People. Size small. I don't know what's very intimate about a sweatshirt, but it's, it's just kind though. of like a small, like more fitted, probably like three four sleeve cotton sweatshirt with like the washed look. Yeah, lounge wear, I suppose. Cute. So next up for me is also something that could be in my little like not a home. Well, no, wait. What am I trying to say? Not like a clothing item. This is a beautiful. Not a home. It's a home item. It's not clothing. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what this fabric is. It's like velvety, kind of, but not really. Pillow sham, and it is by <laughs> Anthropology. It's not made a conclusive thought yet. It no. is, but it's not. But it's home but it's not home i'm but... hungry and my brain turns off the hungrier i get so I this too. is going to be like the descent into if, insanity if anything... but i'm like i think i might keep this as well i love this i think it's adorable and i think it'd be like a fun little pop of color 
If there's anything about us that Fair feels off, gas. it's because we went to the bins today and we've been racing all over town and we have not eaten anything. A thing. All day. And no. I also had no coffee, so. No. This, I will do these two next because they're kind of one and the same. They're these really cute pair of, cute pair. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Very cute little like lingerie tops. These do so good on Depop. This one especially will because of the cherries. I don't know why, but cherries always do a very good, probably because they are always like somewhere in Y2K folklore. This is another one. It's just a really cute little black lace, like, chemise top negligee situation. The girlies eat them up. This is a really cute pair of Urban Outfitters, not tuxedo pants, but kind of like casual oh, for like a yeah. young person going to like a business meeting. I thing. spotted these in terms pants. of Ryan, but if he wasn't there, I would have bought these to sound They're like quite well. cute. Urban Outfitters, size large, just the regular urban tag. And they're just this kind of like almost a flare little like striped pull on pant good for like not corporate business professional but like business casual then i found this madewell sweater i watched somebody throw this back oh, and i was cute. like why it just needs to be deep held like a little bit it's a extra small super cute and i love all these like little colors and these little two front pockets on it i think are adorable as well super cute super cute this is fun this is very fun this is very kid core um i got this specifically to put on to depop this is like an adult sized flannel not flannel like really thick cotton onesie and it has this really fun like vintage godzilla, godzilla print on it this is so much fun there's no tag or i haven't honestly like looked for a tag oh it's chubby's that makes oh, much more sense. Oh, so okay. it's not vintage, probably. So then it's modern. It's men's. It's a romp him. The The print does not look modern. Like, no. I didn't think it was... It didn't look modern at all. I thought it was vintage Um. Well. So now, I'm gonna have to slip into this and see how I feel, because how comfortable... That is so cute. This also might be... A good, me. like, Christmas opening gifts in the morning wearing that, like, little... I'm dress. thinking about just, like, me walking around the house doing, like, chores and crap. In my little dinosaur onesie. This is a free people jacket that everybody kind of overlooked or somebody threw it back. Either way. Size medium. Good old metal free people tag. But I kind of like this because of it's like lag and look -ish. Heavier. Yeah. It's nice. And I like that it has the little like buckle detail on it. So I think that makes it a little bit more modern. And the jackets I'm much more inclined to pick up now that I know that it's still winter. Now what was I saying? I like, this is my descent into insanity. My first is Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. And this is, I believe, concert merch. It is from the Positions concert or album. This and is from Urban Outfitters. I believe her merch does quite well. It's this is an XXL, so it's a great size as well. And I just thought it was nice. Like, modern artists, usually their merch will do Even, quite good. so, her Urban stuff was like $40, $50, $60 yeah. for a t-shirt. Like, girl. Then we have a Vince... And this is actually it's men's. It's size small. And it's very, very nice. This definitely could fit like a men's medium as well. But it's in like like new condition, honestly. And of course, yeah. the retail on this was probably like $200. 300000 to $400,000. Then we have, I saw this label and I was like, I know what that is. And so I snatched it. This is cool. This is cute. And this is size large. And I don't always pick up cool at other stores, but at mm -hmm. the bins, I will get it and usually consign it nowadays. Almost every single time. But I'm going to try this. It's this a dress. Cool. And, like, cool, it's so hit or miss. Like, yeah. it can do good. It can do very, very poorly. I, I feel know. like eBay yeah. is still the place for cool, yes. to be completely honest. Then I have a Madewell sweater, and this is a size extra small. Oh, cute. And this is just kind of a, like, classic little like cotton knit sweater this type of like speckly knit is so popular now the speckly knit stuff is oh that like little salt everywhere. and pepper kind of thing it's so aritzia popular. free people made well it is literally everywhere yes, she is. this is a pair of gymshark sweatpants size Ooh. small and gymshark doesn't always do that good but again <laughs> if these would have been jack size they would have yeah, been in I, more drum already if you <laughs> I don't think you looked at me, but when I found them in the bins, I held them up and was like, how long are these? Could they fit me? <laughs> these are so soft and kind of like the Fabletics. I'm going to try them because they're not just like leggings. Yeah. They're... You know, they got sweatpants. a little bit more oomph to them. And sweatpants, you know? like everybody. Who doesn't love sweatpants? Like, bougie people love sweatpants. Girlies like sweatpants. Everybody likes sweatpants. Like sweatpants Moms like sweatpants. Man. They're comfortable. <laughs> Janet and that pair of sweatpants she has. Oh my God. This is the thing that in the thrift with me, I was like, I have no clue what this is because oh. I had it like tangled up in a knot. <laughs> 
because the whole back is really odd. Your arms do not go through those slits. They do come through armholes on the side. So that's like shoulder blade holes. To quote Debbie, good if you had a back tattoo. <laughs> And this is by Anthropology, and it's new with tag, and it's one size fits all, which is great. So it retailed for a hundred dollars for a knot. Really expensive for a knit knot. A knit <laughs> knot. Anthropology comes back full circle with that knitted and knotted crap. <laughs> so this is, I think, one of the only other vintage things. No, there's a couple. I lied that I grabbed, and I honestly don't even know if this is vintage. I don't think it is. Okay, so anyway, complete another side note tangent. This is a very cute pair of pink plaid little high-waisted trousers. These are adorable. I think these are so cute. They're by Daisy Street, US size six. I have no idea who makes these. I just think they're adorable. I love these colors. I think they're super cute. And I think they look like, very Kate Spade. They do. And I think like as we move into the spring, which kind of kills me to say that, but like to me, January is already like, it kills I'm me going to say, to that. say I'm things so to get I'm so excited to say spring. Be from. spring. I want to garden. I want to grill. I want to <laughs> go wanna, on walks with my. I do like, want to grow spring. tomatoes and make salsa. Okay, so before anybody gets anything wrong, I am not a South Park fan. Know that. <laughs> um, this is Huff, which, if you don't know, is a not like expensive, but like a little bit more upscale um, skater company. They sell them at like Nordstrom and like Zoomies, even maybe Zoomies, Urban Outfitters. But this is Huff and South Park, and it's Cartman, that little like kid that screams, and he just says "Screw you, hippie" on the back, which I think is funny because when I was a child, everybody looked at me and my sister and said, "She's gonna be the businesswoman." And when I was a child, I wanted to be homeless on the beach <sighs> when I was three. So aspiration. I thought that was fitting. Um, I have a couple of Urban Outfitters pieces, and then I will turn it back over to Yuck. This is a Yuck. Thanks. Yuck. A BDG size medium, just like nice little men's. I don't know if I'm gonna call this Gorp Core, probably, because it's just like a canvas, like button down thing. I know the people that wear these and I know what they look like and I know that they're the Gorp Core people. So I don't know if they're gonna let me like slip that one in there or not. This is BDG again, size 27. These are the high and wide. I love these pants, man. These are adorable. It's this really cute, like, pale, kind of yellow, high and wide pair of corduroys. Cute. Super cute. They have, like, a little schmutz on them, but I think a little bit of OxyClean and a trip to the washing machine it is going like to be dust. this girl's best friend. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. They're adorable. They're so cute. And this is one of those things where, oh, here it is. There's, like, a little, she, like, mm. got kicked or something. In the butt. Just, ha! She said, you're fired. Okay, so I'm going to do one more turn, and then, unfortunately, we are going to... We'll be done. <sighs> so I got to go eat. You might be like, I did see other stuff in the thrift with me, Jack yes, and probably Ryan. did. What are you doing? So we, unfortunately, I'm so sorry, are not actually showing you everything today. We had to put, like, a time limit for ourselves on filming. Normally, we don't do this, but like I said, we've been running around all day, I'm and hungry. we are starving, and we have so many other things to do today, which is just great, including writing next week's videos so we just can't do awesome. everything but no. like we showed you a lot of good stuff yeah right? jack will take one more turn it'll be great it'll be fine if you're interested in what else we found like it'll be in our closets within the next four to eight two. busy weeks <laughs> Three months. I have a pair of F Oath Loto, Aretha Oath Loto leggings. Oh, I honestly think that I've had this print before. Ryan so. threw these to me, and they're extra small, as every single pair of Athleta leggings mm -hmm. ever are. Of course they are. I will take any Athleta. Another pair of leggings that are right up my alley. Yeah. I'm sure y'all can tell. They are some skull printed graphic leggings, and these are Torrid, and anything Gothic Torrid does so good. These are a size 2X. Just need to wash them, and then I'm gonna get them listed, but these are so cute, and I'm sure they're gonna they like really cute. vanish. Oh. This Ryan mm. also threw to me, and I was just gonna bring it to the consignment store, but I think I'm gonna sell it myself. It's really cute. This would've fit my dad. <laughs> this would've gone to Todd, but he it's doesn't watch any of these either. Polo so Ralph Lauren <laughs> XL Men's, and it's kind of like a bomber windbreaker jacket. It's yeah. very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And of course it does have the logo right there too in or in like cream. So it matches the underside. Yeah. Then we have oh uh, we the free another like knit <gasps> thermal. Do you know what this thermal is? No like this the isn't moon it. something? No. Extra it's not, the, it's not the moonshine thermal. Extra small. Hmm. It looks like the London town. It's but that's like not it. Bigger than a men's extra small. <laughs> Then we have one more thing. Patagonia. 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 Patagucci. Patagonia. Size large. Men's. Thermal. That's good. Mm-hmm. This is nice. Yeah. Anyway. I'm tired. So I'm gonna go get some Mexican food. We're losing it. 
if you can't tell. Um, we're gonna go eat. Hopefully, if you're watching the premiere, hopefully you ate or are eating or are about to go eat as well because those are eight central time. And we will see you next week for the bolos. We're quite excited about those. Oh, those are gonna them. be really fun. Like, they're really valuable, but like really like interesting and they're fun They're fun ones. to find, you know? And then we're excited to talk about like highlights of the year. I think we might kick yeah. off 2023 with a couple, like one or two more videos on like some kind mm -hmm. of highlights from the year or maybe like goals for 2023. That's a good one. But business goals. We shall see. Also in January, I feel like we should maybe do like a QA and a at some point, maybe. Because mm -hmm. it's just been like, I feel like six months at least. Whatever, as usual, let us know below if there's anything in particular you want to see, whether it be thrift with us, hauls, anything what do you want to see out of our 2023 let content? us know and we will see you guys on saturday for a regular what's sold saturday on christmas eve yes and then next week for the bolos goodbye goodbye